Hello, internet, and welcome to another affinity photo tutorial. What, what, what were you expecting? Something else? In this tutorial, we're going to make this neon sign logo text so effect glowy thing. And at the end of the video, we're going to be showing some examples of what this could be used for. So, make a new project. Size doesn't really matter for this. Create a new layer and make our signature dark blue background. Click and drag with the text tool, type out the first word you want to type, then just search for a font that's kind of skinny. I went with basic align, since it's almost perfect for this. Now duplicate your text and drag it down a bit before duplicating it again. This should automatically repeat the move. From here, just change the rest of the text layers to whatever you want and reposition to the top and bottom of the text to make it more interesting. You can also change the scale of it if you want the middle text to stand out even more. Okay. okay. Open the shape tool and choose a rounded rectangle. Yeah, Fuck you, you've passed me. You can drag along one of the lines of your text. Move it between the text, then just adjust the length so it reaches the end of your center text. Now look up here. No, 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 not that. Oh, actually, you should totally look at that and do exactly what it says. Look up here and increase the corner radius to 50%. Then just select both of the rectangles and control drag them so that you slightly stick out from the text. I hope you've already thought of the colors you want to use, but if not, I'm just going to use orange, pink, and blue because I want this thumbnail to stand out from my rest. <laughs> select all of your vector layers and group them. Duplicate the group and add a Gaussian blur filter. We sure love the Gaussian blur filter on this channel. Set the blur to 2 pixels and set the groups when the merge to screen. Duplicate the group, open the filter back up and set the blur even higher. And you know what, just repeat this a few times until you get a nice sexy glow. Now you've got your glow, select the original group again and hit the effects panel. Add a right colour overlay and reduce the opacity to around 75%. Uh, no, 80%. Now add an inner shadow, make the radius 5 and set the intensity to 60. This just gives it more of a tube look. You can also add a slight outer shadow, but I kind of forgot to do that. Select all your vector layers again and group them. Make sure the select tool is selected, center your logo thing, then just drag the side up to give it more of a slanted look. Or don't. I mean, you don't have to, but it looks way better. So that is pretty much the text effect itself, but I know that's not what you came here for. You came here to make it actually look good. So that's what we're going to do now. After you subscribe, of course. We're going to select the brush tool, make the brush size rather large, and set the hardness to zero. Make a new layer and select out the colors we have for the text. Then just paint over the text where the colors are prominent. So blue over blue, pink over pink. Now set the layer blend and merge to soft white. Now make another layer and make the color right. Make the brush size even larger before heavily clicking on the center of the project. Oh, so proud. Set the blending mode to overlay just so it gives a bit more brightness. Now basically, we're just going to do what we did before with the paintbrush thing, but this time we're going to make the layer above the text layer and separate the colors. So first we're going to paint over the text with a smaller blue and set the blend and merge colors and then reduce the opacity to 75%. Now make another layer for the pink and paint over. You get the point by now, set the blend and merge to lighten and do the same for the orange text. Make one more layer, make the brush white again and paint over some focus points, then set the layer blend and merge to overlay. Well, look at what a difference that makes, but wait, we're not done yet. Now it's time for some texture. Simple as, just head over to Bing Images or Indie Ground, grab some textures and throw them into your project, set them all to the superior core doge, group them, and if it's too exposed, just reduce the opacity of the group. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much the end of the tutorial. As promised, here's a few examples of what this could be used for. And yeah, if you found this useful, make sure to like and subscribe, or at least like for this graphic, I spent mad time making it. If you have any suggestions of what I should do in the future, make sure to leave them in the comments below, or if you want anything explaining, anyway!